What's going on here guys? YouTube friends, motor vloggers and non-motor vloggers alike. It's your good buddy the best one A. I actually got batteries, good batteries in my uh, charger this time. <laughs> so it is March 6th, right? March 6th? Uh, yep, March 6th. And this is my second ride of 2020. Eh, not really like I was counting. The last ride I came out, I wanted to uh, give you guys a quick hello, a quick hi, but I didn't put good batteries in my recorder, so that didn't happen. And I didn't want to do a voiceover, so I said, you know what, eh, another day. Just want to take the bike out, make sure it's running right. I'm uh, going to have to change the oil. It's been sitting for about three months. Mid-December, I stopped riding. So, December, January, February, March. Eh, eh, about three months. So, going to give it an oil change. So, we're going to take it out and warm it up. I'm going to take a ride over to Home Depot. I just got done putting in a softener, a water softener. I went from a salt water softener to a saltless. And... It's been pretty nice. The last one we had was pretty old. I don't know, do you guys, you guys probably, a lot of you maybe probably have city water, right? Do you? Do you have city water? Any of you guys have well? So, you know, we have to use a softener to soften the water. It, it kind of helps with, uh, it helps with, uh, what you call it there? It helps with washing the clothes. Shoot, even just washing your hands, it helps with that. It makes it a lot easier. So, yeah, so we're going to a saltless system. The system itself cost about $1,400. It was the system, oh, it was the system and the filter. They give you a filter, the filter set up free, <laughs> so they say. So, I, uh, yeah, went on YouTube and I YouTubed how to sweat copper pipes and watched the videos about 15,000 times until it finally started to make some sense and uh, not like it didn't make sense but you know just till I uh, felt that I understood it I to be careful of some of these turns I have been riding I don't know if there's gravel and uh, yeah so I got it done I think I did a pretty good job for it being my first time sweating pipes you know I think I I think I did good so got it done it's running good I took a shower last night and I was like man you could tell the difference right away at least I think so it took me two days to put the dang nabbing thing in but uh anyway so I'm out I'm out here and really happy to do a vlog it's supposed to rain soon wow that's a big tree that fell nice firewood there it's supposed to rain soon so that's why today it's a little bit on the colder side the last few days have been in the 50s it says right there we're at 43 degrees right now but the last few days have been in the 50s and that's that hasn't been too bad so it's always just it's nice to be out feels good to be back on the bike I've been pretty busy with uh, a lot of house things and the kids and the family and keeping uh, a good eye on my daughter and making sure that she's been doing good and uh, making sure that she's uh, pushing herself just a little bit more to get better grades in school and it, I think we should always push them a little bit further than what they're doing because sometimes we get set in our ways so to say so we just need a little push just a little head start so yeah so just a quick ride and uh, happy to be back riding I think it's always nice to take a little break and reset the mind you know, I got back on a bike, I rode around the block, and let me tell you, it, it felt weird. 
riding the bike. I mean, it felt really weird. I was even down to, even down to the position of the bars. I was like, uh, uh, uh this feels awkward. That rear shock is doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, and I was like, man, you know, this feels. I just felt like it felt awkward. <laughs> Oh, that's just the feeling I had, you know, and and uh, it 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 takes a little while to adjust. It takes a little while to get back to the feeling of being on two wheels. So, so other than that, as you can see, it's still uh, pretty dreary out on the East Coast, New York. Here, I've, I've uh, taken a lot of time. I've gotten into riding my uh my mountain bike and and that's been fun <laughs> the only thing I, I could tell you and say about uh getting into mountain biking is the damn thing is about as expensive as riding a motorcycle and with that i mean if you uh if you want to add accessories you know, you guys, I don't know if how many of you guys are probably into cycling or even like hiking or or anything like that, man. Camping, like just a lot of activities like that. A kayaking like Ron C has been doing and he's he just did a video where he was talking about how he was out on the kayak and fishing. Um, actually, he vlogged it. He was out on kayak and fishing and that's something I definitely I want to do. I want to get into also. But uh, a lot of that stuff, man. You know, you <laughs> it's uh you know it's gonna cost you a little something. And I'm not saying, you know, that they should be cheap or that they usually are cheap. But, you know, that's just the way that's just the way the, the the sport is, you know, especially mountain biking. I mean my bike is I would say a pretty entry bike. <laughs> cost me about five hundred bucks. Nothing really crazy it's a giant talent 3 I've, I've done a video on it before and uh actually the funny thing you know that video it you know my all my videos are usually all around mountain biking i mean excuse me no. <laughs> all my videos are usually around uh motorcycling and things with motorcycles and you know what sometimes you watch a lot of these uh i watch a lot of these these YouTube tip videos on how to grow your channel and how to be successful and how to do this and how to do that and a lot of them tell you oh don't go away from your niche don't go away from your niche you know your one specific avenue topic of what you like to talk about and what you uh, it, it relates to motorcycles or it relates to lawnmowers or it relates to garbage can pickups or Jeep Cherokees or whatever the case may be you know just relates to a lot of things like that and you know what I just think that's hogwash because you know what that that mountain biking that mountain biking video is see look I gotta readjust to all of that stuff throttle positioning uh, what you call that friction zone all of that stuff to make those kind of turns everything feels so weird so yeah so uh, you know and anyway bottom line me filming that mountain biking video is totally out of my so-called niche and then when i look at the video i was watching a video just to see how it would do because i was like well maybe this video is not going to get a lot of views right but in actuality the video got like what was it over 2000 maybe something like that i, I don't remember i haven't looked at it in a while but i'm actually surprised the video did better than what I thought it would and it was a little bit of a longer video it took me a little bit more time to actually put that video together you know with a lot of kind of like b-roll and stuff like that that you know more than likely I probably usually wouldn't do because on a motorcycle it's a little bit you know you got to turn the thing around and you got to do that you know I, I should do some more I'll, I'll try and do some more of that but um yeah and I was actually surprised that the video in my eyes my opinion yeah it's not getting like 10,000 views but you know it didn't get 120 or you know it, it, it got a decent amount of views <coughs> so of course titling it did help putting giant talent 3 in there or 
you know, something along those lines that it just so happened that there were maybe a lot of people that were looking into that. Also tagging it, putting um putting your hashtags in there so that you could you could uh it kind of gets out there a little bit more, but I also it, it's 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 but we're kind of away from the topic, but staying in your niche. I just don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. Another example, I did a Dynaglo heater video. So, you know what? That and that video got a decent amount of views also. I think that one is up in the three or four thousand. But you know what? It's like I'm just saying basically don't you don't have to stay within your realm of videos, your niche, as they like to say. You know. Something makes you happy, film it, upload it, enjoy filming it. And it's gonna show. So, anyway, guys, first video of the season. We're going on a bit. I'm gonna pull up here and kind of we're gonna call this quits. Been a good time, and the best one A will see you in the next video. Till then, ride safe, my friends, and chop on. Chop on.